punk. Get the Emperor a drink. Drink. Right. Your Highness. Is something burning? <gasps> My spinach pus! <laughs> so, he seems nice. Uh, he is. He's what, in his late 20s? Uh, I'm not sure. Saved him! That's oh, great. great. Good job. Uh, very good job. Watch it. They're still hot. <clears throat> Crunk. The Emperor needs his drink. <laughs> right. Oh. Right. Ooh, I could make that. I wonder if Kronk ever gave Yzma the recipe. What's up, hungry people? Today we're making Kronk's spinach puffs from the Emperor's new groove. Packed with cheesy spinach and wrapped in a flaky puff pastry, these puffs may not turn you into a llama, but they will certainly help you find your groove. Start by melting butter until frothy. Next, we'll toss in some chopped onions and diced green chilies. I'm using canned green chilies in this recipe because canned chilies have already been chopped and roasted. Plus, they aren't too spicy. We're just looking to add an undertone of heat to our puffs. Next, add minced garlic and dried dill. Then continue to saute until the dill is just fragrant and the onions have softened. Finally, we can add our spinach. It's gonna feel like you've added way too much to the skillet, but as we gently stir and turn the spinach, it will wilt and decrease in size significantly. Then we'll transfer the sauteed spinach and veggies to a mixing bowl where we can add the chopped water chestnuts, feta cheese, ricotta cheese, and Neufchatel cheese. Neufchatel is lower in fat and creamier in texture than your run-of-the-mill cream cheese, but regular cream cheese can be swapped in in a pinch. Mix it all together until the spinach is completely coated in the cheeses, but there are still streaks of the cheeses left unmixed. Basically, we don't want to overmix and lose the depth of the flavors. Next, we can grab our thawed puff pastry and cut it into six rectangles. Evenly distribute two to three tablespoons of the spinach filling onto the center of each rectangle, then pull the edges over the filling and wrap it up, leaving one side open. Brush the spinach puffs generously with egg wash, making sure to get all of the exposed pastry covered. Then we can pop the spinach puffs into the oven and bake until they are golden brown and crispy. We can then serve up our spinach puffs to the emperor and hope he won't demolish our home to make way for Cusco-topia. Or we could just poison him and turn him into a llama instead. Whatever's easiest. They're savory, crunchy, and perfect for parties. What fictional feast should I make next? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this recipe, don't forget to flip that sub button and ring the dinner bell so you can be notified of my latest recipes and foodie adventures that I post every week. Do you ever get hungry? You can find this recipe and many more with ingredient amounts and step-by-step -step instructions over on thestarvingchefblog.com. I hope you all enjoyed, and pull the lever, Kronk! Wrong!